Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. I'm here with the one and only captain of our wonderful club, Hugo Lloris. Hugo, thank you so much nice for to talking you. to me. Lovely to meet you too. Uh, we've asked our followers on Twitter to send in some questions for you with a hashtag AskHugo. So we're going to go straight in with the first question. This is from Aditya. Uh, it says, uh, what do you like best about Spurs fans? What's their impact on you during the game? Um, I think we are quite lucky to, to have great fans. Uh, uh, after four years spent uh, with uh, with Tottenham, um, you know, uh, I think it's really important to to play in a great atmosphere like White Hart Lane. Uh, but not especially White Hart Lane; it's also the, the case in uh, in away game, mm -hmm. and um, uh, you know, the, the we can feel the the passion, the emotion uh, through them, and. Um, so no, we are we are very lucky to have good fans. Yeah, and you like it? I, I know particularly because I've stood behind the goal and sat behind the goal a lot. Mm. You like it when you come on in the second half or the first half, and they will give you a huge. Round of yeah, no, no. Uh, for me, it's a mark of uh, respect, and um, yeah. I'm really proud of that. Um, and uh, no, I think it's important to have a communion between players and and uh, supporters yeah. uh, because. Um, we know, as a player, we know that uh, they can make difference because uh, when uh, we need them, uh, they try to push, to push us, uh, you know, to 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 reach the the, the, the victory. So um, uh, hopefully, uh, it's gonna it's gonna continue in the, in the same way. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and into the new stadium where there'll be double as many, yeah, as many yeah. fans. Yeah, yeah, it's true that uh, we are all expecting this uh, this new stadium because uh, I think. Uh, with this stadium, the club uh, will uh, start a new, in a new era, mm -hmm. and um, so I think it's important for to make a, 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 a another step forward. Yeah, very exciting. Okay, Mr. W says, are there any youngsters you see in training from the academy who you feel are bound to make an impact next year in the first team? So, for instance, uh, I'd say Josh Onama this season yeah. has has come on to start playing games. Speaking maybe a bit about him or maybe yeah, some others. But I remember the first who I saw, um, you know, in, during training session, uh, who was from the academy, and uh, who impressed me a lot was uh, Nabil Ben Taleb, mm -hmm. and uh, and not only because uh, he speaks French, but yeah. uh, but because of his talent and um, and his skills, and uh, and I was not surprised to see him, uh, uh, you know, uh, playing for for the first team. Yeah. And, uh, You've been unlucky with injuries this year. Yeah, hasn't yeah, no, that's true. That he was very unlucky. Uh, he, sp he spent a lot of time um, outside the, the field, and uh, so we were very, very sad for him. And uh, hopefully, he will, uh, he will be better and um, and stronger for for, for for the next season. But um, I think uh, that's what I like as well. This is uh, identity of the club. Yeah. Uh, players from the academy, and we have a lot from the academy. Um, you know, like uh, Harry Kane, like uh, Ryan Mason, like mm -hmm. uh, Andros Tausen, mm -hmm. uh, even if he plays now for, for, for Newcastle. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we can talk a bit about uh, Josh Onoma. For me, he's fantastic. He has a huge potential, and and the manager tried to to introduce him uh, in the in the professional world step by step. But, uh, but but he's close, very yeah. close to, to this level. So next season, you think maybe he might break through properly? And I, I, it feels to me like he needs a goal, like one goal, and then it'll. Yeah, you know. but you know how is it? Um, when you have your chance, you need to get it. Yeah. And uh, but I think he, he's got everything to, yeah. to 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 make a great career. And uh, but he needs to go step by step. And uh, but um, uh, but of course, all the players. Uh, uh, are aware of his potential. Yeah, I, I think he's so exciting because he's so confident, loves getting on the ball all the time, which is very important for a young player. Okay, uh, Mason asks, how is this team different from any other team you've played in? Um, honestly, uh, um, one of our characteristics in this team is, um, is the atmosphere, uh, mm -hmm. the spirit. Yeah. And that's uh, thanks to Mauricio Pochettino because he's, he's brought uh, his idea of football, uh, his philosophy of work, of play, and uh, and through a hard session, 
uh, of work. I think uh, we have created an atmosphere inside the squad, um, and uh, and I think it's the same. We we are improving step by step, and uh, and you can feel our uh, improvement. And um, and the thing is, at the moment we don't know our limit, and uh, so that's why we need to to push ourselves uh, to continue uh, in in the same way and yeah. uh, and be ambitious. Yeah. Because uh, in football, the belief is very, very important. Yeah, I can tell you that even as a fan, it's so obvious to see the spirit that's there that hasn't always been there before. It's really exciting. I think that's why the atmosphere at White Hart Lane is so much better this season too. Uh, it's true that uh, my first two years, um, I remember a lot uh, when I used to talk with uh, people who worked in the club, uh, who, uh, or even some fans, um, for them, uh, it was enough just to play a good football, but uh, and uh, and I think Mauricio Bocconino brought uh, a bit of uh, Grinta, uh, you know, from yeah. South America, yeah. South America, and uh, and we start to become, you know, like a, a winning team. We are very uh, hungry, yeah. and uh, we we want to compete, and um, we we we. we we don't want just to, to play uh, football and play a good football, no, we want to compete. Yeah. And in the best way, to play a good football, but an aggressive football. Yeah, totally. Okay, last question. Uh, this is from Alex Kerrigan. It says, uh, if you could have any player from the French national team at Spurs, who would it be and why? <laughs> For me, I take, I take Griezmann. I think he's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, he's a top, top player. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of respect from all my mates in uh, in uh, in my team, and um, so that's why it will be will be a bit disrespect, you know, to to yes, to, no, to, totally to talk in this way. Uh, of course, in the French national team, we have a lot of uh, great players, great talents, but um, but I'm very happy with uh, with, with my mate, and uh, and after the decision it belongs to the chairman and the manager, yeah. and me as a player. Uh, I will uh, treat uh, every player in the, in the, in the, in the same way. Yeah. Totally, absolutely. So we'll take Paul Pogba and Antoine Griezmann. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Hugo. Thank you so much for uh, talking to us. I really appreciate Thank it. Sure. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Spurred on TV. And get behind the boys again against Southampton at the weekend. Come on, you Spurs.